All right, so today we're going to be doing Greek city-states and governments. And I'm going to describe the four types of government. Now first, I'm going to pass out to you guys notes. As I'm going over the PowerPoint, you guys need to, I know it says, don't worry about drawing a picture, just write notes. You can draw pictures if you want, but really it's just about, just write the main points down as I say them. So the thing about Greece is that it had a long history of developing different types of government. And I know you guys know what government is. And it kind of almost had a cycle. So it started with one and kind of grew into another one and grew into another one and grew into another one. Now the first one we want to talk about is monarchy. And obviously with the pictures, crown, royal looking lady, what is a monarchy? You guys have queens? Kings and queens, basically, yes. So a type of government with a single ruler holds all power. So make sure you get that down. A singer, single ruler holds all the power. The, 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 the letters are highlighted. No, the, so when it's, when it's underlined like that, Luis, you definitely want to, that's the, that's the big point I want to see all across. Good job. So a king, a queen, emperor, emperor, empress, they didn't really use, uh, it, it, those are all terms you've heard. You've heard emperor before in China. But all those basically the same thing. And people have no say in the government. That's another important thing. That's not underlined, Luis, but I do want you to write that as well. People have no say in the government. Because it's what? Just one person, right? That person makes calls all the shots. And this is the first government that happened in Greece. When Greece was in its early stages, it was a monarchy. So, an advantage and disadvantages of a monarchy. And you guys know the word advantage and disadvantage, right? So, an advantage of it is one person can make the decisions and things can happen quicker. So, if you're a king or queen and you want something to happen, you don't really have to discuss it with other people, right? You don't have to say it. Right, so, I'm gonna invade that country that's going to happen right now because I'm the king. That's the advantages. You don't have to talk to other people. You don't have to wait for votes. That's going to happen. But of course, there's a major disadvantage, right? People have no say in the government. And that's the big thing is when you're a person under a monarchy, you don't really have a say. And that king or queen, they're the ruler until they die. So if they're a bad king or queen, you're stuck with them. It is kind of like dynasties. But um, the family to, to like son to son. A dynasty really is just the Chinese way of saying a ruling family. Um, give or, yeah, there's a, some differences, but yes, in in yeah, yeah. All right. So we have everything down for monarchy. We can move on to oligarchy. Have you now? You probably haven't have you heard that word before. Oligarchy. Uh, this, one. this is an interesting one. So, from a monarchy, all the rich people under the king they wanted power, right? Because we're rich, we should be able to have a say in it. So they kind of took over things, and a whole bunch of wealthy men. Ruled. So that is an oligarchy, uh, oligarchy when a group of wealthy people are the rulers. Just because they have all the money, they call the shots. So they are rich as like the king. They're rich like a king, but it's the big part is king is one person, an oligarchy can be a group of people. But it's still a small group of people. A very tiny majority. Now, and, the, and we will go over the city-states more at a later date, 
But an oligarchy, just write that down, 